Welcome to my channel. I am Mahogany Diane. I'm back with another weekly vlog or just a vlog in general. This vlog, I have a trip coming up in Houston, so y'all will be seeing that. And yeah, I'm really excited. I haven't taken a trip within the U.S. Um, in a good little minute. And this year, I really wanted to start traveling more within the state. So I'm going to Houston, so I need to pack for that. I've been asking like the girlies like where to go, what to do. And people have been saying that it's really hot in Houston right now. So they're saying like don't bring a lot of clothes. And I'm actually going during the time where it's Houston. I think they call it like Houston Food Week or something like that. But it's actually for a month. But I'm going during that time, so it's going to be very exciting. Um, I have some packages that came in. I thought it might have been... A knee compress because I'm doing a UGC video or unboxing video for some knee compresses but I think it's earrings I had ordered some earrings off of AliExpress and I think they are here I had got some of those Bottega dudes Bottega, Bottega. <laughs> I got some Bottega dudes from AliExpress the like gold plated one from AliExpress and I ordered like this gold plated necklace from AliExpress. I'm excited to see what that looks like um, because I normally get my gold plated um, like name necklaces. It's a name necklace from Etsy. But actually this was like sterling silver because I've been more into like silver jewelry lately. So I'm trying to ramp up my silver jewelry collection. But these earrings, I think I got a mix. I think I got a mixture of gold and um, silver. And I got a few different size variations because I have like, I think I have some on. These are like Bottega inspired. Um, I got these from Amazon and they're like sterling silver. Um, and I have some gold ones that are gold plated. But I wanted like a bigger size. Um, and I tried to do my best to see how that would turn out. Like to pick good sizes that are like a good variation. And I also got some more um, jewelry holders to go on top of my dresser. Because I'm kind of... I had one style that I really liked, so I bought some more of those that had like the small little squares. I hope they match because I got my first ones from somewhere else, but I'm pretty sure the dimensions lined up. So as long as they're able to stack nicely, I'm cool with that. Okay. So There's a bunch of earrings in this. Oh, they're so pretty. Okay, these are one of the silver ones. You can't really see. I might take them out. I might take one out. These look, oh no, these are bigger. Okay, so I got, in the first package is two silver and two gold. One of the silver, ooh, I'm dropping stuff. One of the silver ones is like really big. Let me see. These nails, if I can open it. Okay. Oh, this is huge, but it doesn't feel too heavy. This is one, I think this is like the bigger piece. That is big, look how big it is compared to the one I have, so. And don't mind my edges. They look a little rough. It's hot outside and I do my edges when I left. <laughs> they look like this. They're so pretty. Okay, so that's one pair. That's the silver. And then for comparison, let me open the other silver pair. Oh, these are big. I don't even know if they're going to fit in the, the jewelry things I have on top of my dresser. So this is the other one. These two compared together. I was like, where is the thing? I thought it was broken. These are pretty. Okay, so these are the different sizes, and then this is like small. Okay, yeah, this worked out. Cause I didn't want to get another one that was similar to this size, but mine's pretty small. So I got a larger one, and like this is like I guess the medium. Yeah, cause it's like way bigger than what I have, but it's still a good middle size. That is so pretty, and I was hoping they wouldn't be too heavy, so they they not they don't feel that heavy. But I'm sure on my ear, I don't know. I probably only wear them for like you know dinner, special occasions when I'm going somewhere. Because every day. And then like the gold ones. Oh, the gold ones are pretty. Okay, this is the the gold medium size. Well, those worked out. I think I got some. I don't even know. I just be buying stuff sometimes. I don't even know what I got. Honestly. I do, but I don't. So let's just see what this is. Because I can't remember exactly. But I've just been really into earrings lately. Well, yeah, I've always... I've always been into earrings, but normally I went through a phase where I was just like doing my simple like studs. I had like three studs, but lately I've been wanting to like change up this one. Then I went through like a hoop phase where I wanted like my hoops in. But right now I'm kind of onto like the, the bulkier, more designed earrings. 
These are so pretty. Okay, yeah, I remember. I saw these. And they're kind of like jacket earrings where like they cuff into like the two pieces connect um when they're in your ear. And I got a gold and a silver one. Oh my god, I thought this was so pretty. It's, all of these are gold plated or stolen silver. Um so so pretty. This is what it looks like. So this one is like gold. I don't know, it's a good way to show it. And then I guess you just like take this out. And it's two pieces and you like connect it in your ear and then it'll be like a little loop. Oh, it's so pretty. I love this. So I got that in gold and then I got that in silver. So that's nice. I love those. Then I also ordered some of these, like they're gold plated and sterling silver rings. These. So I have a gold and a silver one. This one's a gold, silver. This is kind of like this, but it's like more of like a, a straight. Let me put the silver one on just to compare. Like I got this one from... Amazon and it's more like square than like having like the little circle but They're so pretty. I really like these um rings. I think they're really cute and they are adjustable But I don't like sometimes I don't like adjustable rings that are open in the back because they pinch my hand. So I Really have been loving this. So I was like, oh, these are cute. Let me get some more of these So I got one in gold and silver. Okay, these are pretty they're like this little hoop earrings, but they have some texture to them I really like those. So I got those in gold and silver. Oh, so I might get the gold Bottega dupes that are bumpy. They look like this. If I can get a good picture up. They look like this. And I might get like a silver and a gold pair. Yeah. So I might get a silver and a gold pair um, of those. But I have my name necklace coming and that should be the last thing yeah right now i'm just about to relax um start writing my script for the ugc that i have to do because i know it's coming soon i hope it comes before i leave for texas but if not it's no big deal um i'll just film it when i get back because i'm not going for texas that long i'm going to texas that long uh just make sure i'm gonna make sure i'm caught up on work but tonight i'm just probably just relaxing and all right, I cut the air down for a little bit to record this portion, but I'm going to keep it short and sweet because it is hot. I landed um, about an hour ago and I had to go get my rental car. Um, the flight was really good. I only flew for like two, um, three hours. I'm about to go eat. I have not eaten all day. It is 3.08 here, but back home it's 4.08. So I'm starving and I need some water. So I'm going to go get some food. Um, I'm going to this place called Moxie's and then I'm going to go to the Galleria. I'm going to go on Zara. Um, I don't really know where else I want to go. Um, we don't have a Zara where I'm from, so, or near where I'm from, so I always like to go on Zara and see what it's giving, so. This is different. I'm on my phone right now. I didn't feel like bringing my camera, but usually when I'm on my camera, I can have my, you know, like, my lens looking to, but like, oh yeah, I guess. Duh! Looking to the camera lens, but yeah. So I'm about to go do that. I'm going to the Moxie's, like I said, to see what it's giving, going to the Galleria. I planned on going to a museum today, but I think I was just being enthusiastic because I am tired, but... I might, but yeah, I don't know what I want, but I want something good. I want some fries from Moxie's. I don't really have any other place I really want to try. Like, I've seen some cute brunch places, so I know I want brunch. There's this, um, uh, not empanada, um, beignet place that I really want to try. Uh, I saw it on TikTok. It's like a food truck. I think I'm going to get that tomorrow because they posted a location where we're at tomorrow, and I kind of got here, I think, too late, actually, to get it today. Maybe not, though. I thought I would get in later, like, settle in later than what I did, so I might see where they're at today and go, but, yeah. Okay, I made it to Moxie's. I'm about to walk in and see if they're crowded or not. Everybody's been really nice here. Like, in the airport, like, the um, workers have all been, like, really nice. Moxie's. Cute. I got a matcha for the first time. It's sweet. It's good. I think I might get mm, tacos, but we'll see. The food was good. Oh, y'all, it's 105 degrees out here. The food was really good. It was just good. It wasn't like the fries are really good. The um the taco was good. It was like a shrimp taco. It was um it was good. I'm not gonna say it was average. It was just good. It wasn't like mind blowing, but I enjoyed it and I had 
a Mai Tai for the first time. That was pretty good. And then I went to Marshall's to get some washcloths because the Airbnb I'm saying it doesn't come with washcloths. I don't know. That's like the second Airbnb that has happened to me yet. But the first time I was in, actually it wasn't even an Airbnb. It was, um, it was like a hotel in Santorini. So anyways, I'm about to, I was going to go to the beignet place tomorrow, but I'm going to go today I think because they are somewhere from five to like nine. It's like 19 minutes away. It's crooked. But well, anyways, I'm about to, um, it's not going to stay that much I drop, but. Oh, I look like it's, I look like it's the, um, 105 degrees out here. That's crazy. It doesn't feel too much worse than, like, the humidity is not much worse than North Carolina, but it's hot. It's like, no, it's like definitely a difference from, like, 90s, low 90s to 105. It's scorching. I brought makeup, but... Look at my hair. And I took my braids out. I was thinking like, oh, I should wear the braids for this trip. I really want to get my hair a break because I'm about to put in some twists for Bali in a few weeks. So I miss my natural hair, but it's, it's lasting good. Natural hair going to do natural hair things, but it's not poofing that bad. We'll see how it looks by the time I leave. But yeah, definitely check my Moxie's out. I want to get a... a Apple spritz, apple. I thought it was apple raw spritz, but I think it's apple spritz. But I don't know. I'll probably get it sometime soon, even if I don't get it here. I will get it when I go home because I've been hearing a lot of people talk about it. And I want to taste it and I look at the ingredients on the menu and they look pretty good. So, yeah, that's what I'm about to do. I want to go to uh, Zara, is like a, a nine minute walk. But I have to cross the street and it's 105 degrees out here. And I don't feel like walking. But the drive was three minutes, so I don't feel like doing parking. So I might just get up in the morning. Oh, crap. And I was supposed to go to that museum today, too. I might try to go to the museum right quick. Then go get beignets. But let me just map Google's um, maps all of it and see what's the difference between everything. Okay, so I got the beignets. Of course, in typical mahogany fashion, I dropped one. But they look good. So they have the options for you to get glazed or powder. I got both. Well, I'm trying to set y'all up again. That's not good. Glaze or powder, I got both. They look good. I got them on in the bag. And of course, I needed it. They forgot the bag, so I try to put it in the bag and not drop one. That's I'm clumsy. I knew, I knew myself, but I'm about to taste one. It's messy. I'm trying to make a mess in this. And it's rental car. Go ahead. That was the powder. Mm -hmm. I'm testing one of the glaze. I think I dropped one of the glaze. They said they were replaced, but I didn't need four beignets anyway. They give you four. It's good and hot. Okay. I drove like 30 minutes. The traffic was horrible, but it was worth it. In Houston, I am about to go get some breakfast. I work from home for a little bit. I'm about to go to this place called Tulsa Yolk. This is gonna be a really short vlog. It's my first time solo traveling. My first time doing a rental car by myself. First time flying along. So I'm just like trying to Stay cautious, catch the vibes, and just like enjoy myself slash relax and just try some of the different foods around Houston. I don't know. I might go to a bar tonight. I didn't go to a bar last night. I was really tired. Um, but I might go tonight, maybe. I didn't feel like drinking yesterday night because I had a drink at the bar and it was, uh, I didn't drink a lot of water either, so I just didn't feel like drinking more. So I'm trying to up my water intake, but I'm about to go, like I said, eat at this place, eat at this place called. Toast to yolk um, for breakfast with my laptop work. Hopefully I can get the book of my work done. And then after that, I want to go to Zara. Maybe one of the museums. I keep going back and forth if I want to go to the museum or not. But I might. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. And I'll y'all see the food when I get there. And I'll just be working. So And I'll show y'all what I get. Okay, Toast to the yolk. They have some drinks that look really good. 
I'm from my laptop, so I'm gonna work here for a little bit, but it looks good. So I might get a drink maybe, and then I don't know if I want something sweet or not. Leaving, got my leftovers. It was really good. I really orange. Most of it was good. Uh, what else? The shrimp for rinse. That's all I really had. Didn't fill me up. So, it was good. I would definitely try it again if I came back and get something else, like something sweet maybe. But I'm just walking back to the parking garage to drive back. I was gonna stay longer, but I'm not. All right, so I went back. Oh, let me turn this air down a little bit. It's hot. Let's, let me see. I don't know. I'll look, I'll look at the degrees. Hold on, wait. Let me see if I can pull up my Apple Watch. One second. Weather. Whatever. It's hot. Hold on, wait. Here it goes. Houston. I don't know. Oh, it's hot. Okay, but anyway, I came back and I worked for a little bit. Now I'm about to head to the Galleria because I want to go to Zara. I left my charger and I, I don't know, I don't want to be out without a phone. So I might come back after Gal um, I go to Zara and get my charger and then go to a museum. But I don't know. We'll see how if I have anything and I might want to walk around the Galleria. But hopefully parking's not too crazy and I managed to. That's like the only thing. I can get places, but I don't, I'm not really sure of parking. But so far, everything's been good. So we'll see. Looking for something that I could wear to Bali. These are cute. All right, I thought nothing. I always use Zara from like it's overhyped. Like I never find anything good. So I think I'm gonna grab some Starbucks and then go. Okay, I'm still sitting here just trying to decide what I want to eat. I randomly got a taste for like I got a taste for some uh, uh, salmon, but um. I started searching on TikTok and I found this place and it had salmon and I've been craving some greens too because I haven't had no greens. Like I need some good greens. So I saw this dish on TikTok and it had like salmon, asparagus and mashed potatoes. But then I went to the website and it had lamb chops and I'm like, I've been wanting to try. I haven't tried lamb chops. My mom claimed she used to make them for us when we were little, like, but like make it like chopped up. But since an adult, I don't remember ever tasting lamb chops. So they have the dish for like 35 and I'm thinking of just calling it in right now and going to get it. I think it's called, yeah, Prospect Park. And then I want the lamb chops with, it comes with macaroni, but I want to sub it for mashed potatoes and asparagus. So I'm about to call because I, I don't know. I don't feel like saying, I'm, uh, I just want to try. I'm here to eat. So, <laughs> uh, I should sit down. I don't really want to. Because I don't want to get stuck in this traffic, baby. I'm gonna go ahead and call it in then i think i'm gonna take it back because i do have to finish up some work and then tomorrow i decide i want to go to a museum uh i don't know if i want to go downtown and then i want to go to a bar but maybe tonight or tomorrow but yeah so i'm about to go get that i'm gonna call it in happy hour with my food and it looks delicious uh i hope it's not too hot because i meant to tell them to put the sauce on the side because the girl was telling me that it's really spicy but i did tense but i'm gonna show y'all the food it's looking good i got lamb chops um lamb chops uh mashed potatoes i subbed it for i subbed macaroni for it because it didn't look that good and it comes with three big asparagus so yummy um like i said i'm excited to try these lamb chops and i'll let y'all know how it is it's probably good though it looks good friends this is the food again sorry if you have to hear the fan but it's hot in houston in general so i'm just trying to keep the room so cool let me taste the mashed potatoes first i love mashed potatoes wrong the meal is like a seven the meal is like a seven out of ten now i always put in the factor that you know restaurants 
when you eat there and the food comes out and you're able to eat it like piping and hot, it always tastes a little better. But I think this is good. I think if I would have ate it at the restaurant when it was fresh, I would have gave it like the eight. Okay. Also the sauce, the um the lamb chop jerk sauce they pour with. Let me finish eating, bro. The jerk sauce they pour with does have a little kick, but it's not too much. Like it's a little kick, but it's not unbearable. So yeah. Okay, so I decided I am gonna go out to a bar tonight. Ooh, the hair is giving. Um I had three I was gonna choose from. One is domain. It's kinda giving like Afro beat vibes and probably more black people. And then one is like a rooftop bar, I think, called uh something on Z, maybe third on Z or something like that. Let me go, let me look, cut on. It's called uh Ooh. Z on 23 is the um is one of the other options and then the other one is called um what is it behind closed doors so i don't know the main would be cool but i don't know i probably it gives like group vibes like they have sessions and you go to a friends in the bar um and i don't know how big the bar is they have hookah z on three z on 23 and um behind closed doors are only like five minutes or 12 minutes walk away from each other and they're like 11 ish minutes away from me um so i think i'm gonna go there because i don't want to be driving like 25 minutes to get to the other place the last two z on 23 and behind closed doors are closer so i'll probably go there i'll probably try to hit both of those my first full day in houston and then tomorrow if i feel like going out i might go to domain but i'm not sure but right now i'm just about to put on some makeup and leave it's 8 23 here so I don't know, I want to be out, get out early. I don't want to get out. Usually at home, I, I get out like 10, 11. But I want to be out there by 9. Just to like feel the vibes, sit down, have a drink. And if I like the vibes, I might just stay there. And then if not, I'll head to the next place. And then I'll get a drink there. And then I'll leave after that. So, yeah. Okay. Like I mentioned, our week is hot in Houston. So I'm not, not doing a lot of makeup. I'm putting like the bare 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 minimum like a little foundation i'm doing basically my full face but i'm just doing less like i literally have like this much <laughs> foundation on my hand i had a little bit more but i mixed two colors from uh two face born this way and because one's like a little dark one's like a little light um and depending on if it's winter or summer i can use one but then when it's like that weird period I use both so I've been here and it's hot but I really don't be out in the sun a lot so most times I always end up mixing both just to give a little color without it being too light then without it also being like too dark what doesn't match so yeah like literally I'm doing like just a touch just a touch If it is on, there's really no um, mirror in here, like no full body mirror, so I'm about to use this to see. Uh, this is good. I have another outfit for tomorrow, but I'm. It's like more of like a club, club vibe, club slash bar vibe, and this is more for like just chill bar. 
So I'll probably just go with this one. I gotta put my lips on. This is my favorite. I usually do this for a lip liner. And I usually do lip liner and like Vaseline for like an everyday. If I'm going out, I just have my eyebrows on and this. Like this is my color. So like, mm, it's like a burgundy. It's just my color. Like the perfect red, deep red. And then I have this gloss from Ulta that I put over it sometimes, but it's kind of running low. I didn't, I forgot to bring some Vaseline, not Vaseline, some, um, some soap that I use. I use dishwashing liquid to clean. I use Dawn Platinum to clean my makeup brushes. I forgot to bring it. So if I do my makeup tomorrow, I'm just going to have to use dirty makeup brushes, which I hate. I don't want to try to, I'm not stopping tomorrow to get now. I have some. And my bag was like 44 pounds. I added some, like two things, but I'm throwing away some shoes. Um, I added, I bought some tissue. I hate soft tissue. So they had like this really soft, fluffy tissue here. So I went and bought, I was looking for a single roll of Scott, but I had to get the four pack. So I got that, I'm gonna bring that with me. And I got some cups, because I used that to like put my Invisalign in and like clean them. So I'm trying to bring those back. So, how did I say that? Oh yeah, I'm not buying a dishwasher liquid. <laughs> When I have some at home and the small size. Ooh, the hair is giving. I did long curls a few days ago. And in this heat, it's only got bigger, but I like this hairstyle for the most part. I did it on blow dry hair, but when it starts getting um like old and it's humid, it gets bigger, but it looks good. Like, even if it was like even if it was like this, it would be giving, but this is cute. The hair's been doing it for me, baby. So yeah, okay. Probably gonna take my vlogging camera there, but I'll get it on the phone. I think I'm going to behind closed doors first. Saturday, my last full day in Houston, and I'm about to walk and get I'm about to walk and get some brunch last breakfast at this place called Barney's Cafe. I just have on like a white shirt. Let me lower it. A pink skirt. The walk is about four minutes, and it's not too hot outside yet, so I'm about to walk there. Then I might go to a museum, maybe. And it's gonna be like last night when I went out. It was fun um, for a cute little minute. It was like, it took me a minute to find somewhere to park. Then I walked about five minutes to the place. And then I had, I had one drink and then I left because I didn't wanna, I felt myself starting to get tipsy and I drove. So I was like, not tipsy, but I was like, okay, I don't wanna do this by myself. I don't need to be drinking and driving. So I had one drink, stayed for a little bit and then hit it back. So it was just like a cute little, cute little moment to get to see, uh, ta uh, experience the taste of the Houston nighttime. Um, night scene i guess i would come back with like a friend or a group of friends if we wanted to like um party harder but i just can't get drunk around a bunch of strangers i told my friends i told a friend that if i did go out tonight i might uber there but even then like it's just dangerous i don't know maybe i'm just not comfortable yet but it is like more dangerous for a woman to go out by herself and then add on getting intoxicated on top of that it's just not a situation i want to be in so I had one little cute drink and then I came back. But yeah, it was a really nice vibe out there. We had like a lot going on, a lot of bars, different um, music. We had a place I went to, I ended up just going to Behind Closed Doors. I didn't go to um, 
23 on V. Try milk mustache. I am back home from Houston. I had a really good trip. I was, I'll keep telling all my friends and family, I'll definitely go back. If I go back again, I'll go back maybe with a group so we can party more or with more money to shop more because the mall was really nice. Like, of course, they have like the designer stores that we don't have in areas like where I live. So thank you all for checking out this video. Be sure to catch the next one. It'll definitely probably be another travel vlog when I'm heading out the country. So thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.